I don't think anybody buys a Harley Davidson just because it's a motorcycle. I think it's because Harley Davidson is an emotion. You know, I spent 25 years working on Harleys, and a lot of them are sportsters. But it's not just about the motorcycle, it's the vibe, it's the community. It's now my work, it's my life. My first Harley was a sportster. My girlfriend's first Harley was a sportster. First Harley I raced was a sportster. It's versatile. They're a great canvas for, for custom builds as well. You know, and now we've, we've taken it to the next generation of the, of the sportster. And now I've got to redesign it. I mean, the good thing with, with custom building, there, there's no right and wrong. Uh, you know, it, it's like, oh, it's all, you know, down to someone's opinion. I kind of know how the bike is finished before I lay my hands on it. So I try to visualize it a lot before I start. Going over ideas, back and forth. Uh, stand back, have a coffee, have another look. And I'm building in my head. I like to take a bike, strip it back to kind of what we have here. And then you can see the bones of everything. You know, what you can sacrifice, what you can move. Ah, oh, there we go. So just try and break that off. We don't need that. Everything is redesigned. The technology is light years ahead of what we've had before. And um, an animal of, of a motor. Loads and loads of power. It's very different to any sports that we've, we've ever seen. But when you take everything off and you look at the bare bones, the chassis, the, the motor, the swinging arm, the wheels, you know, it's very much a sports system. <laughs> You know, a simple design is sometimes the best design. It's an awesome looking machine, and that's kind of what the sports has been for many, many decades. If it's not broken, don't change it. So here it is my first custom build on the new Harley Davidson Nightstar. Now originally we were gonna go for, like, I guess, like a flat track inspired build, but halfway through we changed to a mix of tracker and cafe racer. We had SNS build an awesome exhaust, stainless headers, titanium muffler. They've also made us a little carbon intake cover and to set things off, we've got the SNS rear sets. Some heavy modification to the subframe just to get the seat unit to fit, but I think it really complements the shape of our gas tank as well. Image Design Custom have been doing my paint for many, many years, so of course we trusted them to get the paint right on this. Handlebars were switched out for something a little bit lower than the stock bars. Gives it more of an aggressive feel, gets you right tucked in. So we switched out the forks and the triple trees to those off an FXDR. Gives the bike a nicer stance, adds a little bit of performance there as well. So we've got twin hell performance radial calipers up front. You know, we want the sporty vibe. We went with the flat track number board with some LED lights in there as well. Switch the wheels out to give it more of a, I guess, a retro feel. 19 on the front, 16 on the rear. Went for the lace design, I quite like that. Moving on to the back. So we had legend suspension. So we've jacked it up by about an inch and a half as well. Out of the chain drive, just because we like the look of it. I'm real happy with how the bike turned out and um, I hope you like it as much as I do.